the biggest thing that I think high performing, high achieving people feel is yeah. that when they're alone, they kind of hate themselves because when they're alone and they're, and they are not distracting themselves with some sort of achievement, right? Cause when you're in the gym, working out, you're doing something. When you're uh, in the office behind a computer, you're doing something. Mm -hmm. When you're on a plane watching a movie, you're doing something. But in those moments where you were literally not doing anything else, and you're right, when I was in the military sitting in a missile silo, there's lots of hours where you're doing nothing except waiting for the next message to come in. Yeah. When you're in the field with CIA, it's the same way. You're waiting. You're waiting for someone to show up. You're waiting for a signal to come across the radio. You're waiting for something. And you can't do anything else in those periods of waiting because you might miss the one thing that you're waiting for. So those hours alone are some of my darkest hours. And it's not just me, it's many CIA officers and many of my peers. We do not like that time alone because you, you reflect, you think back, you remember, and the things that come to your mind biologically for not, not just because we're depressed, but because we're human, human beings. Right. When you dwell and when you remember, the things you remember first are all negative things. You remember the errors that you made, the people that you hurt, the people who hurt you. You remember the opportunities you didn't take and, you know, the chances that you didn't take. And you remember hurting yourself. You remember all the negative stuff first because negative emotions create a stronger mental hook mm -hmm. in your head. So they pull all those memories first. So if you want to remember stuff that's good about yourself, it takes a long time of waiting and forging through all the negative thoughts that you have about yourself. So yeah, it does, the periods alone teach you that you don't really like yourself. And to a certain extent, there's power in understanding that you don't like you. And it helps you understand the people that you do like better. Because there's a reason that we're attracted to opposites. There's a reason that my wife is my total opposite. There's a reason that I cherish the things about my kids that are different than me. And I pity them for the things that, they're, that they have that are similar to me. Because at the end of the day, when we reflect on ourselves, it's, it's natural, it's biological wiring that we remember our negatives first and we overvalue those negatives before we value anything positive. And it sucks to, to spend a lot of time hating yourself. Mm -hmm.